<laughs> I got a water heater here. It's only five years old. It went out. Um, and I want to know what does it look like inside of it? Why did it fail? We're going to make a big square cut out here. Try to get into the actual tank. Did it rust out from inside? Um, has the anode rod on it? Was maintenance done on this thing to keep it from failing? I guess uh, probably not. Um, but let's just start cutting it open and see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, clearly we got a lot of rust going on. I mean, I know it failed on the bottom. I know we were leaking, but the issue is why we were leaking. So there we go. All right, so we're down to the tank here. So let's cut the tank open and see uh, what it looks like inside. Sweet, we got it cut open here on the very top. So you have right here your anode rod, which is gonna be this nasty little thing here. Look, it's pretty much broken off here. Um, look, you're down to bare. That's just gross. What's it look like up there? All the way up, oh yeah. See, you don't wanna see that bare wire. That thing should have been replaced. Uh, kind of like your camper, you replace them every year. Why not do the same thing in your actual water heater? Let's dig in this nasty, I mean, that's, just, <laughs> that's disgusting. Here's what happens. If you haven't, every year you should drain your water heater and clean it out. But if you don't, you'll get all that nasty sludge in there, just like that. <sighs> that's disgusting. Screw it. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even want to dig in that. I mean, that's straight like, um, like sl it's sludge, but it's like slime. That's disgusting. <laughs> so here's what is at the bottom of your water heater. Guys, you've got to wash them out every year. It'll make them last a lot longer. I mean, there's chunks of, it feels like metal, but let's see here. What do we got here? Look at that. Just big chunk of metal. Rusted metal. Um, I mean, this is disgusting. <laughs> um, so I really wanted to find where it's rusted at, but let's see. The way this one is designed, let's see, we have, ah, oh, oh look, here's more chunks of uh, nasty, um, that's part of your anode rod right there, yum. Okay, this is all, all kinds of chunks of um, anode rod and just big rust chunks in here. Um, I don't feel any openings, any holes but see if you can tell it's gonna be down is that one right there oh i think it's covered up down there if you set if you can tell this is kind of like a bubbled up uh um that's disgusting that's your flue that goes out the center up um your burners are underneath this dome i don't know if you can tell in a, in a video this is actually a dome and it goes down it meets the wall and I guarantee there's nasty, uh, it's just ate out down there, I bet you. Um, and I watch what allows the water to come out. And, cause this is all, look how nasty, it's all wet. 
so it was just seeping up and getting onto it. Um, yum. I've never cut open a water heater. You probably never would, uh, ever, but <laughs> now you know what it looks like on the inside. Uh, this is only a five year old one, so it's not totally wa wasted, rusted out in the bottom there, but normally they would be. Um, I've had some that you could look at the bottom and it was just completely out. Um, but this one here, uh, I would say uh, a failure of maintenance only lasted five years. Uh, typically, that's what they're going to last because most people don't do the maintenance on them. You saw it, the inside of a water heater. This one, more than likely, the inner rod's bad. It rusted it out on the bottom. It's not terrible, but it happened and water came out. Guys, if, if you ever wanted to see inside of a water heater, now you have. They're pretty disgusting. I'm going to go clean up and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.